Yo, what is up guys? Hope you're all having a fantastic day. So today we're going to be going over all the ultimate rewards for Season 4. Now, most of them I would say have passed already. So we're going to go ahead and cover the newer ones. And later on in the video, I'll cover the older ones. Just in case you're curious to see, uh, yeah, which ones you missed. So starting off with this week, which is September 5th, we got the Rat Charm. So that is this week's ultimate reward, at least by the time I'm posting this video. On to the next ultimate reward, which is September 12th. We got the Battle Ready Stance. On to next week, which is September 19th. We got a Yorai Utility Attachment which I'm assuming goes with the Tenrai 3 event. On to the next ultimate, which is on September 26th. We got the Solarian Legend weapon coding for the S7 Sniper. On to the next week, which is October 3rd. We got the Mark 7 armor coating called Mesa Inclined. On to the next one on October 10th, which may be the final ultimate reward of this season. It's a weapon charm, which has George just chilling on a seat. Pretty funny uh, weapon charm there. So those are all the ultimate rewards that we'll be releasing over time. Now let's take a look at the previous ultimate rewards for those of you who are curious to see which ones you've missed. So starting off with the 29th of August, we got the Brainwave Visor. This was definitely a good ultimate reward on the 22nd of august we had the mesa inclined armor coating except this time for the urai core on august 15th we had the light bike weapon charm on august 8th we had the plum fire sniper weapon coating which this was part of the cyber showdown event uh, when this one released on august 1st we had the oni weapon charm on the 25th of july we had the koban weapon charm on the 18th of july we had the highlight steel or highlight steel uri armor coating on july 11th we had another visor which is called cascadia on july 4th we had a wrist attachment for the mark 7 core on the 27th of june we had the solarian legend weapon coating for the spanker otherwise known as the rocket launcher. On the 20th of June, we had the Highlit Steel armor coating, but this time for the Mark 7 core. And I believe that is all the ultimates for season four, new and old. Of course, these can be subject to change, but I think most of them have been pretty accurate. But of course, you always do gotta take leaks with a grain of salt. Of course, shout out to uh, Banished News or The Banished. They were known as Delta Index, but they renamed themselves to the Banished or Banished News. I'm not exactly sure. I kind of forgot, but yeah, shout out to them for uh, leaking all the good stuff, man. And with that being said, if you guys want to see more content like this or really anything Halo, consider subscribing and liking the video as it shows your support. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.